just come off the uh, overnight boat and the overnight bus from uh, Koh Tao. So a 12 hour journey, I feel rough as a bird's bum. That's what it's like being a backpacker when you're traveling overnight on buses. So there are different parts of Krabi you can stay in. There's Krabi Town, there's uh, all different kinds of places. I'm staying in Anong. Anong, it's a very, very famous beach resort. Great nightlife, great food. It's the best gateway to the islands, Hong Island and all the beautiful places around Krabi, which I'm going to explore on this vlog and hopefully inspire you to go and see the world and go and see Thailand. I think that's a mosque. You see, as you go further to the south of Thailand, you get more of an Islamic influence, whereas north is more Buddhist near Bangkok and above. All right, guys, just here now in, uh, in my hostel, checked in. It cost me uh, 240 baht uh, for the night, so it's not too bad. Pretty nice view here from the balcony, as you can see the beautiful uh, limestone cliffs uh, behind me. I've not had a shower yet, so I still feel uh, pretty, pretty terrible, but I'm gonna have a shower now. I'm gonna get out, I'm gonna explore, I'm gonna show you crappy. Beautiful place. Let's go. All right, this is uh, Onong Beach. This is the main beach of Krabi. It's a uh, beautiful beach. And I'm gonna catch a long tail boat to one of the islands this afternoon. Tomorrow, I think I'm gonna do an island tour. But I think I'm going to Raleigh Beach, which is like a really famous beach here in uh, Krabi, one of the best beaches of the island. I think I'm right in saying the Hangover 2 was filmed here. Maybe Phuket, but maybe here. Those limestone cliffs are absolutely beautiful. The sea is beautiful. Yeah, man. It's, uh, this is cool. And obviously you have all the shops at the front. Restaurants, shops, bars, you name it. And I'm not sure what all these boats are for. I'm not sure if they're fishing boats or they travel to the islands. I think they could be the long tail boats. I'm not too sure. But a lot of boats here in uh, Unong. All right, I'm off to Raleigh Beach. Cost me 200 baht return. This is the boat here. Let's go, man. And so a lot of people will get a kayak or one of those water boards and we'll go right out to these limestone rocks here and uh, check it out now because i'm a pretty confident strong swimmer i've decided to go and swim there instead keep fit it's quite far from the shore but there's no currents around here it's very very calm today gotta add no matter how good a swimmer you are if the currents are strong if you're michael phelps you're gone so be bloody careful in the sea now I'm gonna head over there, check it out. And uh, I'm no <laughs> geography teacher, but I know these sort of rock formations are thousands, uh, if not millions of years old. And uh, you get these sort of rock formations in obviously Thailand, in uh, Palawan in the Philippines, uh, Halong Bay in Vietnam. And uh, a lot of movies, famous movies, are set where there's beautiful formations, uh, like the one here in Krabi all around me right now, so always a beautiful place to come and visit. I'll do something else. Is that where Lagoon's up there, is it? I think so, yeah. yeah. I assume so. How high is it? How far to climb? Uh, maybe 10 minutes. Okay. Yeah, yeah no shoes. <laughs> it's the only shoes. problem. Otherwise, I'd definitely do it. 
All right, so I'm just climbing to the uh, lagoon and the viewpoint, and all the tourists down there are packing their pants. They don't want to do it. I mean, it's pretty steep, and you've only got to be like a rope to grab onto, but it's pretty easy, I think, so far anyway. So it's just a viewpoint and a lagoon up here, and I'm going to keep climbing. Uh, this is not a tough climb. I don't know why tourists down there look at it and then get scared off. It's actually pretty easy. So if you're down there, anyone with the viewpoint and the lagoon, just come up. It's not that hard. As long as you've got a good grip on the rope, it's no dramas at all. Whatsoever. You see, uh, I'm going up with um, bare feet because I've only got flip-flops and um, they're not like strapped on flip-flops they're just like flimsy little things that you put around your big toe so that's like not suitable for this sort of um, climb but uh, bare feet is fine there's a lot of like little rocks that you can just put your feet on there's lots of things to grip onto so it's no problem Point. It was uh, pretty good. I'm now I'm gonna head to the uh, lagoon. Apparently it's quite a dangerous climb down. Danger, do not walk on this trail to the lagoon. Violator will be fined a thousand baht. <sighs> Whatever. All right, so I'm about halfway uh, down to the uh, lagoon. It's just down here. This is where it gets really steep apparently and uh, quite dangerous, so I'm gonna take my GoPro off and just focus on the climb down. This is actually a rainforest around here. Lots of monkeys and wild animals. It's a pretty cool place. So I'm gonna go and take a look at it first, see if it's safe to go down. People go down it, so it must be. Take my time, get down there, and have a swim, and get this orange clay off my face. All right, so uh, I made it to the lagoon. That was a, that was a pretty gnarly-ish climb down. It was, you had to take your time and be confident. Um, it was quite dangerous, you could probably you could probably kill yourself on there if you weren't careful. Uh, this is the lagoon that all the tourists shy away from. They see the climb down, or they even see the first climb upwards, and they're like, no thank you. So I think I'm the only person right now in this lagoon, which is absolutely uh, incredible. Let's go down there and check it out. <laughs> Tarzan in some kind of repairing on the ropes, covered in clay, looking muddy, thick hair, just looking like some sort of hobo. <laughs> it's a... Uh, it's pretty cool. Well, that was definitely worth the uh, climb down. And uh, it's beautiful. Oh, that was a epic climb. Now I'm gonna go for a swim and wash my hands. Alright guys, good morning. I'm just doing this uh, four island tour in Krabi. It's like the tour of four beautiful islands. It's like the main tour from Krabi. About a one hour's sleep. I am rough as a bird's bottom. It's a weird analogy, I know. Anyway, so uh, we're here uh, about to catch the boat to um, the first island. Alright guys, uh, we're here on the first island. But I really need to wake up, like really. Check out how many boats there are, long tail boats around here. You just can't escape the tourists in, uh, in Thailand, that's for sure. 
three more there. I actually find the uh, long tail boats really beautiful. They sort of add to the tropical uh, exotic vibe. I mean, you don't get long tail boats in uh, Europe, do you? Third spot, a uh, snorkeling spot. I can't remember what the island's called. I'll put it down there. Put some pretty good coral around here. And some uh, pretty good fish too. For some reason, we're not allowed to go far from the boat, which is a little bit annoying, but uh, it's what it is. Just stopped at the last stop here. And we're gonna get some food. I am hungry. Apparently it's a big buffet. All right, dinner is served. We've got Thai green curry, a ton of rice, some uh, like black mushrooms, I don't know. That's like chicken, really, really nice. Uh, I've not tried it yet, I think it's gonna be quite spicy. Testing the spiciness. Mm, a little bit spicy, not too bad. It's good. Chicken is excellent. So this here is some of the clearest water that I think I have ever swum in, in my life. It's literally crystal clear. Check it out. All right guys, good morning. It is 7.30 a.m. It's the next day. Um, so I finished a day tour and after that I just did work. Uh, I didn't really go out and see much uh, here in Krabi. There isn't a tremendous amount to do at night time. There's restaurants, a couple of bars, a bit of a nightlife street where young backpackers get, get drunk. And so nothing really impressive or anything that you probably want to see. That's more in like the Tong, Phuket or Koh Samui where you get nightlife. Um, so the day, this day, the day tour was, uh, it was okay. Um, I've done quite a lot of day tours so far in Thailand, obviously. Uh, in uh, Koh Samui, we went to the national park. That was amazing. The Marine National Park, uh, James Bond Island in Phuket, that was awesome. Also, the tour around Koh Tao was amazing. Uh, that day tour was a little bit underwhelming, to be honest with you. It was only 900 baht, so uh, yeah, 900 baht, maybe about 30 US dollars. Underwhelming. I thought it was not well planned, not well prepared. I just didn't really get much out of it, but it was okay. Saw some beautiful things, got some decent footage. So uh, today I leave Krabi. I'm going to go to uh, Koh Phi Phi. Gonna get the uh, the boat pub in the next hour and a half. Get some food now from 7-Eleven. Get a cheese toasty, <laughs> as we all do in the, in, in Thailand. 7-Eleven cheese toasties, cheap savior. And um, go to go pee pee and then vlog for the next two days, and then uh, see what happens. That's what it's all about, man. So thank you for watching this vlog from Krabi. It's a beautiful place. One of my favorite places uh, so far in Thailand, that is for sure. Um, much prefer it to Phuket. Um, much less touristy, much more authentic, and uh, actually much more beautiful. Thank you for watching, guys. Stay tuned. More to come from Thailand. Uh, Capcom Crab. Peace out. <laughs>